Fort Maud is a neat story. All right, guys, here's the next ride, the Triumph Bobber Bonneville. Um, looks pretty cool. Looks pretty old school. Uh, that slash cut pipe doesn't look too bad for what it is. Um, I do like the little kind of gold anodized adornments like around the engine and on the faux carburetors, which I'm not sure how I feel about that yet, but I also dig the two uh, pipe on either side. It's kind of fun. You notice when I'm out on it, it's got a little gold adornment around the Speedo as well. Pretty, pretty nice. Uh, it'll be an interesting ride, I think. Kind of cool with that single uh, small rear fender. And it looks like right under the seat, you can kind of tell there's a monoshock in there. Kind of nice integration um, to give that total like hardtail look, but, you know, have some suspension under you, which is good. Tight little bike. Um, pretty interesting having that uh, key there down on the side. I would have thought it was going to be uh, up by the neck but that's just a uh, steering lock it looks like so actual key down here pretty cool little machine um, I haven't ridden a Triumph I don't know possibly ever so it'll be an interesting experience we'll see what I get um, unfortunately this ride is going to be a shorter one so we'll see um, we'll see how much I'll actually be able to tell so anyways uh, we'll see you once I'm on it alright guys here we are I didn't get to show you much of the actual bike, but we are on a Triumph Bobber. So, <laughs> I don't know what to think, honestly, yet. I think it sounds pretty good. But uh, we're on our own short little loop here. This guy's not using a turn signal. That's the dude I'm following, so we'll see. So initial reaction is it's kind of goofy with this single seat. Um, even the motor kind of sounds like it's more Harley related. Uh, mid controls, I like that. Well, it sounds good. And uh, it gets up the speed real nice. It's weird with that single kind of seat, but it feels comfortable boy and it's got some torque man holy smokes uh, I sort of miss having a tack um, but it definitely has some torque to it so let's see what we got is it fifth is this no we got six gears so at 50 oh there's the so 2400 R's huh it feels Fine. I mean, it feels smooth. And it actually, wow, it has enough torque that I can easily, huh, it's got plenty of torque, man. That's surprising. I, I mean, I guess I don't know why I feel surprised about that, but uh, it's a real comfy ride here. Even when we were going 70, that was good. Um, I don't know how long a ride I'm going to get, but uh, we have yet to really have any corners, so I don't know what that's going to feel like. I'm sitting a little bit more forward than I expected. Um, my feet position is good. I've got short legs, so I feel like they're actually kind of up higher than normal, but I'm probably at like uh, 90 degree. But I'm leaning forward more than I would have expected. I thought I would have been a little more upright. But, uh, yeah, it's... The weird part is I feel like I'm... I mean, geez, I'm in third gear. I feel like uh, I'm just always at such low RPMs, but I suppose they're trying to maybe go out more after that kind of Harley bobberish low RPM grunt kind of thing. The nice thing I can say is it's balanced very nicely, uh, the engine. It's, there's no real vibration. It sounds good. 
I bet you it would sound great if we were getting on it, but I don't know that we'll be getting on it at all. Unfortunately, we're... There we go. Yeah, that was... That's nice. Okay, so... It was nice to get on it slightly. There was definitely some low-end grunt there, and it just went right up to speed. I mean, you feel it in the seat of your pants. It's nothing crazy. It's not like the X Diablo, but see, and that's wild to me to be. Okay, so all the power is basically there up to about 4,500. Five grand or something maybe is where all the power is at or up until then um, you can tell it's running out of gas at a little over 4,000 or maybe 4,500 it's running out of gas the pipe sounds great on it you know and for just cruising around town it would be fantastic I don't know that I'd want to do this uh, you, you know on long trips yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Just nice, torquey power. You know, it's nothing major. It's, you're not going crazy speed, but it's, uh, it's a totally different experience. <clears throat> when you get on something with that low-end grunt, it just feels great. Just a roll of the throttle, and you just kind of torque right through it. Um, a completely different, more relaxing feel than something like that FC07 uh, or even the, uh, the 690 that I was riding. So uh, during the same trip I did a KTM uh, 690 Duke and that's a single and I can tell you that thing felt like it had a lot more legs than this even RPM wise. This, all the power is a lot lower, lower end. Um, I do like the overall style of this thing. Everything seems like it's pretty good, you know. Actually, right there, up to five thousand, over five thousand. It felt like I was still in the power. That's pretty good. And really, I was worried about this low R's and like we're doing 65, 70 here, 2800, 2900 R's. And it it feels solid. It doesn't feel shaky. It doesn't feel vibey. Uh, what well, you can hear, my voice is all suspension. It's a little stiff. But um, it's not it's not terrible. I'm not feeling like it's jarring my my spine. It's rather comfortable for what it is, but I again I'm not sure I'd want to do it all day. Uh, we would see. I mean, the seat feels like it's probably relatively supportive. But I'd have to see, you know, I'd have to do a couple hours before I could really tell. Cable clutch, it's fairly light. Listen to that. It sounds great. You know, and it's real grunty and nice. But, uh, so it's a fun machine. It really is. It's real fun. Uh, that would be, again, it would be fantastic. In town, and little jaunts, you know, 20, 30 minute trips. The sound is fantastic for for just stock pipes it's great um, it'd be a fun bike to have I don't I don't know that uh, again I'd be doing long trips or anything but if you're looking for a commuter bike it'd be great and something that's not necessarily a Harley but gives you kind of that fun Harley feel the 
grunty low end power and a nice sound. Excellent, excellent machine to choose from. Man, that's kind of fun. It's a fun bike. That's my end result. It's fairly comfortable and it's fun. I guess one last thing. I can easily touch the ground when I'm on this thing. I can easily put my feet down and it's comfortable. That's a nice thing for a shorter rider. So anyways guys, Two Wheel Ton, check me out on Instagram. Be sure to like and subscribe. Appreciate you watching the videos. We'll see ya.